Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Canuck Spider video. So it's been a while since I released a video. Um, I guess the last one was the uh, whole story of the GoPro Hero 8 Black modification to the helmet. So here we are finally, it's the just the beginning of May and we're out for a, a ride and I've got that GoPro mounted on the top of my helmet and just thought I would uh, do a quick video, a quick loop here to show um, what it's like. I've already done a bit of preliminary testing on it to make sure that it was set up in the right position and the sound was okay. But uh, I just thought I would make a video here and get everybody caught up in what's been going on in, uh, in my world and our world up here in Ontario, Canada. So, hope you enjoy the, uh, the ride after I get off this bumpy road here. And uh, we'll talk a bit about what's going on. So, stay tuned. Well everyone, what has been going on in the last few months? Uh, the last writing video we did was back in October of 2020 and I believe that up here in Ontario, Canada, we were just entering our second wave of COVID-19. So we went through a very long winter, various levels of lockdown and restrictions, stay at home orders, etc. We basically lost control of the situation over the Christmas period and into January and found ourselves in a third wave that sort of got going in February and March. Early April, the province locked us down again and all the stores and restaurants got closed and only essentials were open. Um, vaccinations have been really ramping up around here. Um, I got my vaccination back in April, on April the 19th, I got my first shot. So uh, I've already got my appointment for my second shot, which is not going to be until August, uh, based on the current supply of vaccine. So uh, I'm hoping that might get moved in eventually and uh, we'll be able to start to realize a bit more freedom uh, the more people get vaccinated. I will, I will say that the vaccination program has been fairly well received in Canada. Um, a lot of people are you know, expressing their intentions that they are gonna get vaccinated, um, so that's good. Now, here in Ontario, we currently uh, have got the age of vaccination down to 40 for everybody and basically any adult that is uh, living in a hot spot um, area um, can get vaccinated. They're also starting to offer vac vaccinations for um, youths uh, 12 to 17. So we're slowly getting ourselves vaccinated and hopefully that will get us back to normal. Um, it's been a pretty weird time haven't been able to see any of our friends or um, we have seen some people but it's always been just outdoors and at a distance so it's been a it's been a rough 14 months since this thing got underway but here I am it's a nice sunny day a very windy sunny day but a nice sunny day and I'm just uh, out for a ride to test up my new rig here on the uh, with the GoPro and I've got my little remote I'll bend my head down so you can see it it allows me to control the camera um, from the handlebars which was a, a big improvement over the the last setup I had the, the last camera I used which was a an Acaso V50 Pro um, didn't have this uh, facility to have uh, a remote like this, uh, although it did come with a wrist remount remote, but it didn't work very well. So we're going to see how this all works out, and we're just going to go for a short loop here to try and get some footage down. So 
so we are trying to think of uh, at least planning some trips for this summer. This will all, of course, depend on, on how things go locally here in Ontario. Uh, it doesn't look like this summer is going to allow us to travel to other provinces unless things change drastically in the next couple of months. Most of the provinces are still kind of not open to non-essential travel between them. But what we have been uh, thinking about doing is, uh, is going up and doing the, the Algoma Loop, uh, which kind of runs from Sault Ste. Marie and up to Wawa, and then it kind of loops back around and then joins back up with the Trans-Canada Highway um, east of Sault Ste. Marie again. And, uh, so that'll be a nice trip for us because where we live, we live um, about two hours north of Toronto. And so it'll be like a, a, a day from our place up to probably North Bay or Sturgeon Falls. And then we'll do an overnight, then do a second day to Sault Ste. Marie, probably stay there or go up to Elliott Lake. And then we'll probably do that loop around and maybe come back down and stay another night in the Sioux or back to Elliott Lake and then meander our way home. Probably be able to manufacture that into probably about a five or six day trip, depending on uh, how ambitious we are. Another trip that we'd like to do this year is down to the Windsor-Essex area. We were going to do that last year, but they got hit pretty bad with a, a COVID outbreak um, that was kind of attributable to the, the fact that they have a lot of migrant workers coming in to work in the farming community out down there. And they got into a bit of a pickle with uh, those folks not being able to get tested properly. And it, the area was uh, kind of non grata for most of the summer. So that's about all we've got planned for, for this year. Um, and we'll just sort of take it as it comes. The province of Ontario where we live is a very big province. There's lots of places to go, lots of day trips to go on, lots of little getaways. So uh, we're not suffering too much. So we're just going to roll into Ken Mount here. We'll probably take a quick stop in the little park. Hopefully the black flies are not so bad because we're right in the middle of that right now, but it's pretty windy so they will probably be kept on the move. We'll just take a little uh, gander around the park down by the river here, take a little break and then we'll probably head for home. Certainly is nice to see the trees starting to bud out again. They've really taken their sweet time about it this year. So this will be an interesting test. I want to see if uh, what the range of this remote is. I'm not going to go too far from it just to sort of see how it works. I got some neat stuff here. All the old bits and pieces from when this was a uh, kind of think it was a sawmill, if I'm not mistaken. 
Got the old water wheel here. I'm sure that sun's probably blowing this camera away right now, so I'll try not to face it. It's going to be hard to see right now, but inside that building right there, there's a lot of, uh, of the equipment they used to use in the years gone by, but you can't really see it um, from the outside, and it's, of course, all closed up right now. Well, it's time to get out of here because these black flies are voracious. So we're going to cut our little visit short here. Just had four guys come by me on ATVs back there, and man, it was like a dust bowl. Got my nice clean bike all dirty. How dare they? So we're just gonna pass, if you remember my video from last fall, where the, we had a tornado go through with those lamp posts are bent over. Still haven't accomplished a whole lot of cleanup here. There's still a lot of debris around. Still all piled up over there. So I took the spider in for uh, some service back in April. When uh, we started to use it this year, I noticed that when I was just sort of pushing the bike out of the garage or it was just coasting along slowly, there was a clicking sound coming from the area of the front pulley. So I'm going to include a little clip of that so you can hear it. So that clicking noise is what we're going to go try and get diagnosed down at the dealer. So hopefully they will get it fixed up for us. And what it was was the, the front pulley was of that generation where they were um, wearing out um, and uh, the splines that pull the pulley on the shaft that comes out of the engine wear out and the pulley gets covered in this kind of a red dust and uh, needs to be replaced. Fortunately I have an extended warranty on this machine so it was covered in a warranty but it was definitely that was the problem but they uh, replaced it with the updated pulley that supposedly will not do that going forward. So during that same service, they recommended that I get a new back tire because the back tire was uh, kind of worn down almost to the wear marks. So I got that done. Uh, the service manager at the dealership I get my service done at said that it was a pretty normal, about 25,000 kilometers that that back tire will go at. I also had them reinvestigate the uh, this panel right here there's two screws that hold it in place that go into a little kind of a bronze or a brass bushing that swaged into the plastic frame that had failed and they decided to replace that plastic frame so that got fixed and then they did a full bumper to bumper check on the bike um, he also noted during that inspection that the front wheels were, the front tires were starting to show a bit of um, stepping on the outside which indicated that 
the alignment might um, need to be done, so I had them do an alignment. They did that laser alignment, and so got everything all wrapped up for the season. The bike is running great, and uh, no other issues. Brakes were fine, shocks were fine, all the other fluids were fine. So that was a good thing to get done and out of the way for the for the season. folks I guess that's gonna wrap up uh, another Canuck spider video first real one of the 2021 riding season I'm sure there'll be lots more to come so we're just sort of getting back into the home stretch here not much of a journey associated with this ride but thought it would be a good thing to get some footage down and I got to really got a lot of clips out of this camera and I'll be able to get on the computer tonight and see how it all came out boy there's a lot of stand on my road still it's pretty slippery anyway folks thanks for coming along for the ride